back to my channel. As promised, I said I would do a review of the Colette shorts pattern. I finally made them. I'm really, really pleased with them. I think they're fantastic. I love the pattern. Here they are. Um, I made them in a really nice uh, floral fabric, a scuba fabric, which has got a slight stretch on them. Um, they've come up really nicely, lovely length. Um, they've got a waistband on them that you have to put on, which has a facing to it as well. And they also involve having a uh, an invisible zip, which goes down onto the left-hand side of the shorts. Um, the other thing I did do was put in the pockets. I wasn't sure whether I was going to do it, but I decided, yep, yeah, why not go for it? I haven't done pockets before, or at least not for a long time, and I thought I'll have a go. And actually, they turned out to be pretty easy to do. So for those of you that have done pockets before, you'd find them simple, but if, if you're a beginner, I would suggest that definitely have a go at putting them in. They're not too difficult at all. And it's a really, really lovely, Lovely pattern. So the pattern was the um, Colette pattern, the iris uh, pattern uh, for shorts by Colette Patterns and wow yeah I mean a really lovely pattern um, to follow. I think the instructions were super easy, really nicely laid out um, with all the pictures for the instructions um, and I thought it was super. I've not done one of those, their patterns before. I would highly recommend it. I think it's great for experienced sewers and also um, for beginners as well, although there are a few tricky parts. Not too tricky. Um, I think the waistband uh, was a little bit tricky in the sense of which way around it goes. I, I took a, it took me a good few minutes to work out which way I had to place the face band onto the garment to make sure that I had the front face band on the front piece of the shorts. So that was just a little bit of working out. Um, but once I'd worked it out, it was no problem putting it on. And then you have a facing which goes on the inside of the um, waistband to cover up the um, raw edges of the waistband and that was again easy nice and easy to put on um, a few more techniques needed than a total beginner's pattern but I, or, nevertheless I think that a beginner could actually master it to, could actually do this so as I said the shorts have got two pockets one on either side here and um, I think they're really nicely positioned, the pockets, actually. And I, um, I really did enjoy putting them in. And I found, as I said, I found them really pretty easy to put in. Not difficult at all. Um, not as difficult as I thought they were going to be. Really simple. I'm really pleased that I put the pockets in because I do think it's made the shorts. I think without the pockets, they would have been a little bit plain. Um, the pattern has got the option to obviously do it without the pockets, but the other thing that the pattern's got the option for you to do is to put in some buttonholes down the side of the pockets so that you can jazz the pockets up a bit and put some little um, buttons on there as well. And if you look on um, Google and images, you'll see some pictures of people wearing these and some of those are um, actually on there where they put the buttons. I decided not to do that, but next time, if I, when I make it again, and I'm definitely gonna make it again, um, when I make them again, I might have a go at putting in the buttons um, on, on the sides of the pockets because that was also a really nice added feature the actual length of the shorts is very nice and the width um, to go around the leg is nice as well so if you've got a bit chunky legs like I've got it's not tight on your legs at all um, it does give you quite a bit of room in in the leg and I only had to take the hem allowance up by one centimeter because I actually like my shorts quite long but obviously you can have them whatever length you like and um, I know some of the younger um, folk like to have their shorts pretty short so you can put the shorts um, as short as you like but the length was actually good I mean they're not they, they don't go down to your knees or anything like that um, they come down to about just 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 a, just a, a little way above your knees really and perfect for me um, so yeah I really like it and I'm going to be definitely making these shorts again as I normally do, I actually traced the pattern off first so that I can use the pattern again and use it for other sizes. 
I, in the past I've cut patterns up and then I've cut, I can't use them for anybody else that's a different size. So I traced the pattern off, that was nice and quick to do uh, because there was only a few pieces. There's only actually uh, one, two, three, four, five, six pieces and uh, they're quite small so it was quite um, uh, easy to trace off so I did that. I think you can use all different types of fabrics for these shorts. But this fabric that I've got has got a slight stretch in it because I like that feeling of being able to move. But I think it will be just as good in uh, maybe a denim or even a, a heavy cotton or I think maybe even a light cotton will do them. I might actually make some light cotton shorts out of them. Now, whilst I was making them, I thought, do you know what? I think I'm going to try and make a little tutorial on how to make them. A, a sew along. I mean, it's not a great tutorial, but it's a bit of a sew along. And any beginners out there, it's going to give them some ideas on actually how to do them. So I've done a sew along tutorial as well as this review, um, tu this review um, video. So if you'd like to see the sew along tutorial that goes with the making of these shorts, it is a little bit long, but um, you might be able to just flick through to the bits that you need. Um, if you'd like to see that I'll leave a link below and yeah so that's them. So I'm really really pleased with them. I think they are a super make. Great for the summer. I'm definitely definitely going to be making some more and I'm sure that my um, daughters will probably want me to make them some as well and yeah I really really liked it and they were they were pretty quick to do um I would say it probably took me after I cut them out um maybe about three hours three to four hours of um of sewing them but now that I've made them once I'll probably reduce that sewing time because it was working out what some of the actual um, instructions meant not that they were difficult but just making sure I had the fabric round the right way and the facings on the right way and so on but now I know how to do that I think I could probably reduce that sewing time to, to about two hours so great yeah so great so yeah so I'm definitely going to make these shorts again so thanks for watching and if you want as I say if you want to see the video tutorial on how to make them please click on the link below and if you've enjoyed my videos and you'd like to see some more um, I'd love you to put a thumbs up and subscribe and thank you to everybody that has liked and subscribed to my videos already uh, I hope this video has been helpful and I'll see you again soon bye for now bye